the gauge is here, it's very accurate. Um, and if you put too much air in the tire, you hit this little button right here and release the air out. The second stage, So if you have the tire up on the top bead, and figure out just to dig it out the bottom bead, what you do is it causes the tire to expand. So there, first one, first one. Because it runs on air, it'll stay like that as long as you have your foot on the pedal. Once you release, the springs back here will pull it back. Question so far. It has a post here to hold the wheel in place, called the stud locator. If it's not tall enough, you give a really bad offset wheel and tire assembly. There's a Tire, this ends for putting it back on. This machine is designed for steel wheels, not aluminum. You try to do aluminum wheels on this, you'll scratch them all up. When I put this up, I always put the valve stack basically at my left hand or at my spot position because when I first got this machine, the hose did reach across. All right, open that. It has no feelings. Um, yeah. So when you're, when you're doing bead crushing, especially, you're trying to the beads, just don't even put your hands on the machine. Okay, I was going to just run your right foot. You get this off here easily, hold the rear one, and then turn it. Now the most common mistake we see here is that we have this stuff here, it's called camel snot. It's tired of the kids, the only thing we got out of the Iraq war. This is a paste. The paste is much, much better. It doesn't dry out. What kids try to do is they're trying to take it off, put it back on, whatever, and it gets dry. That's the problem. So here, as much of this paste down here as you can, to it, curvature goes towards your hip. Reach in here, we got the top B, the tire, to the slot, line the slot up in the center arbor. Okay. Now sometimes you got a tire that's got a lot of sidewall strength. Gentlemen, don't let go, because if you let go, this thing's gonna swing out, it's gonna hit you, and you're gonna fall on the ground, go into a fetal position, rock back and forth, and cry. Okay, so we're sending you to a special tire called crawl. Left hand up here. The right hand, there's no danger here because the, the bottom bead breaker is on the other side. 
left hand here, right hand under the tire, because it's old, you gotta help the machine. They push up on the push down on the right pedal, pull up on the tire. Now look, I pull the tire out, or the tire iron out, before I let go of the, the pedal. So it doesn't come back and hit you in the hip. tire has to be down in this part here which is the valley it's not in the valley it's not going on you will destroy the tire trying to put it back on it doesn't matter if it's a, it's a short sidewall tire if it's a really big tire it doesn't matter it's not you're not using the valley you're trying to get it back here now most importantly again is you have to lubricate this really good all beads this time now remember it tends to dry out real fast because you're not using a lot of pace Big chunk missing there because someone here did it wrong. People used to look, if you used the, the paste on it, what we find is we hardly ever ruin any tires. But this whole lab, all these kids working on the same tire. Okay, now, here's the trick to this. If you want to put this back on, you're going to leave a wedge here. Leave a space. With the crest in the move. This wraps around the rim. This is why we don't use this on aluminum rims because it'll tear the crap out of the aluminum rim. We don't want to damage all that surface. And then the tire goes here. Around the rim, the tire goes here. I'm going to set this up and I'm going to just go over here and look and see what I've done. I'm going to work this thing down in that valley. Take a peek and look at some of this. Now, rather than pulling up on it, we're going to push down. Left knee in here again. Right in here. Go off for let go of the pedal. Okay, back. Wraps around the rim, on the arbor. Swing this thing around, down in the valley. Look at how far I can put this on without even using the machine. Again, around the rim, tire goes there. Left hand here, right hand here, behind, pushing on it, behind the tire. Take this off. And then we go to the top. This is nicer to kind of put this up on the, on the top D for me. The arrow's on here. Now, what I would do here is if you don't loosen this nut now, you might have to let all the air on the tire and get it loose. Okay? But I just barely loosen that, just barely. No fingers left in there. How many of you have been playing basketball and you cut a basketball and you begin to your finger? And it jams on your face and hurts. That's the same thing that's going to happen here. Don't leave your fingers on top of it. Just keep your hands off. Okay, so that thing popped is about 5 or 6 psi. So only the one pop, you should have two. So wait for the second one. Now, the more air I put in this, that doesn't come off. So do I beat on the machine to get it loose? Look here, I'll just take your little off. Let all the air go out of the tire. You get to hit the bead breakers and I'll put the air out and I'll the nuts to the Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you. You're ready to go. Questions?